Under international law, the word refugee has a very precise meaning. According to the 1951 UN Convention on Refugees, a refugee is someone who, owing to a well-founded fear of being persecuted for reasons of race, religion, nationality, membership of a particular social group or political opinion, is outside the country of his nationality and is unable or, owing to such fear, is unwilling to avail himself of the protection of that country. In 2011, there were 15.2 million refugees in the world. 193,510 of them were in the UK. That's 1.3% of the global refugee population. Developing countries hold four-fifths of the world's refugees. In 2011, the hosts of the largest number of refugees worldwide were Pakistan, Iran and Syria. In 2012, asylum seekers made up just 4% of migration to the UK. Almost all asylum seekers are forbidden from working and those that are permitted to work can only take a limited number of jobs specified by the government. They cannot choose where they live and are sent to hard to let properties. Asylum seekers are often kept in detention despite the fact that claiming asylum is not a crime. 28,538 asylum seekers were detained at some point during 2012. In May 2010, the coalition government announced that child detention would end. However, 222 children were detained at some point during 2012, including 156 who were under the age of 11. 82% of British people believe that protecting the most vulnerable is a core British value, and Britain has benefited greatly from the contributions of refugees. Fish and chips were brought over by Jews playing Portugal in the late 17th century. Michael Marx, co-founder of Marx and Spencer, Sir Alec Isignosis, creator of the Mini, and Olympic gold medalist Mo Farah all came to Britain as refugees. Under international law, the word refugee has a very precise meaning. But refugees are so much more than that.